What if I told you one kid could bring a whole community together? That he could inspire a nation? What if I told you that all he needed was two minutes? That not even Down syndrome could stop him? That dreams really do come true? What if I told you they are not just his teammates, but his family? That they are the reason behind it all? That it is more than just a game? That his story has just begun? always been around basketball. His older sister played basketball, so he basically grew up in a gym, basketball gym. He started when he was eight. He started probably track and field, soccer, softball. That's probably what he did St. initially. St. Charles, initially. Yeah, he played basketball for St. Charles uh, when he was probably five years old. Uh, you know, over four years, sometimes he'll come on and make it right away. Practice is over. We huddle up on the B and say family. And sometimes Kevin misses two and three. And I don't think the kids have ever complained once in four years. Because obviously, like all of us, Kevin has off nights where he's not shooting the ball well. And the kids have never complained once. He competes with Special Olympics. You have to pick one sport to compete in. So typically for um, the summer state games, he competes in track and field. And they're held at Penn State in June every year. So we've gone there probably the last six or seven years. Basically, like the early years, having a child with Down syndrome really isn't different from having a typical child, except things are just a little bit slower. Like Kevin walked when he was two, um, his language was very delayed, he had all kinds of therapies growing up. Kevin talked about his goal of being a sports broadcaster, and in the Owls Television Network, he has acclimated himself. He works right alongside our other students, and uh, you'll see him right on the set, anchoring as if he is a sports broadcaster. And every morning, for the past three years, Kevin comes in, writes down one of our motivational quotes. I worked with Kevin since he was in kindergarten. He came to the high school and he expressed an interest in being basketball manager. Um, we came up with a plan with his family and with the basketball coaches for him to be able to do that. But it seemed like every year there were the team just stepped up and, and embraced him and made him part of the team. He, he's had a lot of fun over the years. Then he asked Kevin if he wanted to to put on a uniform and play, you know, a little bit of the game. And Kevin was very surprised. He wasn't sure how to handle it because he knew that that's not what he was supposed to do. Like he knew he's manager, but he was excited about it to actually put on a uniform like the other guys. Um, what happened next was pretty crazy. And starting Kevin Groh has Down syndrome, a disorder that affects almost everything the 18-year-old does on a daily basis. One thing it does not have domain over is his jump shot. That's right, Max. The team manager for the Ben Salem High School, Owls, proved that by coming off the bench on senior night. Rained down four threes. Caught the attention of at least one scout. Philadelphia 76ers signed Groh to a two-day contract.
Wednesday, March 5th, the Harlem Globetrotters are coming to BHS to honor our superstar Kevin Grout and to put on a show for us. That's you, right? Yes. Are you ready for them to come here? Yes, I'm here. So are we. been an unbelievable experience, it really has. Uh, what it has done for the school, the community, I mean the surrounding areas, everybody's got behind Kevin and it's been really great to see. This experience has been unmatched, it really has. The feeling that I have had is, uh, I've never had this uh, such a feeling of satisfaction, it's been great. Kevin's been a pleasure to be around, uh, he's impacted me tremendously, um, you know, just watching him grow, watching him just persevere and work so hard. He's such a good person and he always smiles. Like no matter how bad of a day you know we may have, you see Kevin and your day just brightens up. Like he really just, he just makes you feel better. Thank you for watching YouTube by me and thank you so much. We all expect to discuss how this changed Kevin and it hasn't changed Kevin. The question is how did it change us?